Hi guys, Tosh is here from Mixing Tips and for today we have one of the classic uh, tricks with a reverb that uh, can be found in many tracks, not just because uh, it was used in bunch of uh, classic records, but actually the result of it is amazing. This is how to create the Abbey Road reverb trick. One of the techniques that uh, make the Abbey Road sound is uh, known as Abbey Road reverb trick. Uh, before we discuss uh, the how-to, uh, let's talk about uh, the results. If you listen to plate or chamber reverbs in their natural state, there is a lot of information going on through the frequency spectrum. In short, uh, the lows make uh, mud in the mix, while the highs uh, can result in oddly distracting unnatural reverb tails. In reality, we do not often uh, hear such uh, reverb decays, and certainly not as distinctly as when um, exclusively assigned to a particular sound in a mix. The essential part of this technique is to set the equalizer high pass filter to 12 or 18 uh, dB octave slope and cut everything below 600 Hz. Set uh, the uh, low pass filter with the same slope and cut everything above 10K. Uh, there you have it. So this is the reverb that uh, AB Road used uh, since uh, 1960s. However, if you don't, uh, you do not have to stick with uh, those settings. You may find that cutting the highs down to 8K or 7K or sometimes even lower works better for the instrument that you have at hand. The idea is to reduce the highs until you can hear the instrument sound uh, without the, the obvious high frequency reverb tail. Another useful variation of the Abbey Road trick is, uh, in case of vocals, try to cut around 2 to 4K, which will reduce uh, some possible harshness to uh, in the presence range. So for today, Steve, we chose um, this uh, sound. I will play it now. And below that we have the FX channel with the reverb in. So firstly, now I'm going to add the reverb. You can already notice the long-tailed uh, reverb here with, uh, with this sound. And uh, here is where the trick is made. As I said, I cut uh, below 600 Hz and for this example I cut up until 2300 Hz and I cut down a little bit around 1400 Hz just to tame a little bit of, uh, of the harshness that is happening in that area. This is really easy to do and a really useful trick to tame your reverb frequencies. Sometimes the little changes can go a long way and surely this trick proves it all. So thanks again for joining us today. Subscribe to our channel and see you next time.